Okay, so here's the thing. I'm a city girl. Always have been, always will be. In a perfect world, everything I need for the day-to-day -day life should be within walking distance or at most a bus, tram, subway or taxi right away. In a perfect world, I wouldn't even have to drive anywhere unless to maybe go to a different city once in a while. So when Ivan came up with the idea to include Patagonia in our trip to visit the side of the family that lives there, I was excited, but also a bit scared. Basically, it would have been the most out of my comfort zone and remote place I would have ever been to. To understand how different Patagonia is, one must just simply look out the plane window and compare the two sites. This is Buenos Aires. And then, 986 kilometers to the south is Neuquén, the city we were headed to, which, at 345,000 inhabitants, is the largest city in Patagonia. We landed in Neuquén at around 10 a.m after a two-hour flight from El Palomar Airport. Our final destination was actually Chipoleti, a smaller town and a 15-minute drive from Neuquén. Chipoleti is where my aunt lives and is situated in the Rio Negro province. Locals actually don't call it Chipoleti, they call it Sipoleti because of the C-I at the very beginning. But as remote and exotic as this may sound, we were still in Argentina, so we couldn't miss the daily treat of facturas, the breakfast pastry sold here as everywhere by the dozen. A short parenthesis to mention something that may put this whole trip into perspective. I am terrified of dogs and Ivan's aunt has five. So what you see here is the most interaction I've ever had with a dog. Fortunately the three big dogs were not allowed inside the house but to my horror they would still follow me everywhere as soon as I stepped foot outside. Maggie, Maggie, Maggie. So, after lazing around for a little bit, we went out to explore the surroundings. What we see here is a chakra, which is the name that people of the place use to define a small plantation, often at the outskirts of the cities. This one in particular was cultivated with apple trees, just like all the other ones in particular <laughs> are all cultivating <laughs> apples. Our first stop was on the banks of the Neuquén River, surrounded by willow trees. It looks like quite a wild place, but in reality it's a lively area where the people of Neuquén like to spend their free time and even bathe. Baila, baila, estoy filmando. Siempre hace lo mismo. <ríe> me encanta, me encanta, me encanta. Ahí está. Ya, ya sabe, ya sabe. <ríe> yeah. Y aquí tenemos a Ela comiendo un churro mexicano. En la calle. A ver, déjame ver esto. Lo que pasa es que lo, lo, lo hicieron probablemente 
esta mañana. Ah. Next stop, El Mirador Balcón del Valle. The perfect spot to get a grasp of the hugeness surrounding us. <laughs> mi baby, te gusta la Patagonia, mi baby. Sí. Sí. No veo nada. Yo. <laughs> no, tipo ahí. acá, acá, acá donde no hay na nada. La nada misma. <laughs> Como ranitas. One small note. In this area, it is not uncommon to drive five minutes from your neighborhood and find yourself in the middle of nowhere. The space seems overwhelming. You can almost get lost and feel lost and feel lost, only to find yourself at the mall or at the grocery store after 10 more minutes of driving. So we ended the day with a family dinner at the food trucks. Our cousin had been studying for her exams all day and so She thought she should treat herself and us to a wonderful dinner at the food truck area part of town with live music, DJs, these hamburgers, laughs, good times, and an OK band that played OK covers of OK songs. Let us stop for a moment and reflect on the huge size of these burgers and bacon and cheese fries. Are you reflecting? Look at those burgers. Goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> On our second day, the exploration continued with us going out to El Chocon to visit the Ernesto Bachmann Paleontological Museum. Which is just a fancy way of saying the Dinosaur Museum. Because... On top of apples, dinosaurs are a big deal in Patagonia. They're a big deal, literally. Look at the size of those things. Further away into the nothingness that is Patagonia, we were in search of Los Gigantes, the Giants, a batch of spectacular rock formations not too far from El Chocón Dam. Spoiler alert, we did not find Los Gigantes. By the way, they look like this. So we went ahead to the next destination, which was actually not other than just driving around in circles around them. And 
here we have the dam and the artificial lake that was created by it. No one would be able to survive this part of the world without this little extra bit of water that's created, thanks to science and technology. And, and Cipolletti. And Cipolletti <laughs> and the Argentine ingenuity. This part of Patagonia is full of artificial lakes, by the way, which only keep it add, alive. <laughs> keep it alive and add to the beautiful scenery. After the long drive home, we stopped by to visit the family chakra, where currently some corn appears to be growing peacefully. On Friday, we left the home early, just to get the most out of the day. The first thing on the list was to go jet skiing on the Los Barreales Lake. And then this happened. The jet ski fell off the tow, and the tow got disconnected from the truck. It took us about an hour to put the jet ski back on the tow, tie the tow to the truck, and drive the whole thing to the beach. Once the jet ski was in the water, the engine just didn't want to start. So this is what we did instead. Ella is afraid of not only dogs, but also speed. editing this video, the initial idea was to actually give you a feel of the screaming and, and bad words that I used <laughs> during this ride, which was something like 20 kilometers per hour, but I was so scared and freaked out. <laughs> and 20 curse words per second. <laughs> but then I said, no, what, pe what do people think? <laughs> no, 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 okay, okay. Her vanity prevented her and relaxed her, as opposed to my driving, which only made her cautious. <laughs> don't go, don't! I also want to be alive! No, 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 no! I'm going off! What the 50-50? I don't want speed! Apples, dinosaurs, and wine! Wine is a big deal in Patagonia. So, our very last activity was a stop at the Sauro Bodega. Sweets. 
Can you guess why it's called Saudo? Dinosaurio. A bodega with a beautiful vineyard full of sun and delicious grapes, where, in fact, a dinosaur fossil had been discovered right when they were building the thing. And then off we flew back to Buenos Aires. Concluding remarks? <laughs> to quote La Tia Becky, this was a shock treatment for Ella because she had to come face to face with her greatest fears. Dogs, open air, nothingness, freedom, speed. But just like a vaccine is a little bit of the virus, Patagonia provided Ella with the cure to her ailments and gave her the fortification she needs to one day go back. We're going back, right?